hello everyone and welcome back so i wanted to show you the difference between the squares that you see on the table now one of the coolest things about all these squares for me as a carpenter i need to use a square and i like to keep it in my pouch so usually i would go with the standard size seven inch square but sometimes it's too big it still falls out because it can't completely fit inside my pouch and this is where this comes in. This nice little Milwaukee square that Milwaukee came out with is just awesome. It's pretty much the same exact thing, but only four and a half inches long. And this is just perfect to just make all those tiny, you don't need nothing big. You just wanna make sure something is square, you're good. Um, the traditional ones here, this is a traditional seven inch just like that. And we also have some plastic versions, which are very light, which is kind of nice too. They're very cheap. And I had plenty of those. So aside from that, so you can get away with this, which is really, really nice to have if you just need to square things off, okay? And uh, this one is what I would have normally in my pouch. Sometimes you need this very big one. This is a 12 inch square, supposedly. Maybe it's about 11 and a half, but 12 inch square. Now, if you're trying to make a big pass, you know, across a piece of wood like this, let me show you that. You can go all the way across and make a nice pass. And if you're using something like this, you can only go up to that point, okay? So this is where this little square comes out. This is so cool. As soon as I saw it, I had to buy it. And I will be putting a link down below for all of these if I can find them for you guys to pick up. Otherwise, Home Depot sells this one. I'm not sure if all Home Depot do, but my Home Depot sold this one as well as this one. But you can buy it on Amazon and I will leave those links. So this one, as you can see, uh, this one can make it across. This is the standard size and this one can't make it across. When you do need it, so this does fit in your pouch. It's a little bit bigger, but this one is ideal. But when you need a big square and a small square, sometimes you need a big square, but you have this, all you do is you push this, it separates, opens up, and check it out, guys. It's actually longer, it's actually longer by like a half an inch. And now you can make a nice line across, fold it up when you don't need that size, and just use a traditional um, size. Uh, but I really do like this. It's a little bit heavier because the aluminum has to be thicker here just so they can divide it. And it's made very well. Um, there's these little ball bearings that are on springs and they depress. So when you close it, it locks in. I mean, they really paid attention to detail on this one. I really, really like this. Uh, but my favorite uh, by far is this tiny, tiny little square. I don't even understand why I never realized that I can just cut my own square and make it smaller. Um, but then the markings are not there. But Milwaukee made one, guys. There's no further to be looking any uh, further. This is this is awesome. And then it has all these little guides. Some of them don't have them. Like this is just smooth. Okay. There's another thing that they did with this one is really nice. So let's say you want to. Um, run a line you just pop it in one of these grooves and they're at quarter inch marks and you just okay let me do it another one at two inches another one so as you can see all these marks is actually really convenient um the bigger one has it too i think it goes in quarter inch quarter intervals on both sides so this is half inch but between these two steps like a letter it's actually going quarter inch increments so guys these i just wanted to show you because they're very very awesome um aside from the regular um squares that we have aluminum plastic uh these are my two favorite ones this is my go-to this is awesome because it's a big one and a small one all at the same time all right guys Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I'll leave down links below and have a good one.